Hello viewers, welcome back to the Adam Atlas. Find the area of the blue shaded triangle. But before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So doing this, the first thing we need to do is to connect the radius E and F with zero. That is E, then and also from zero to F. So doing this, we have that. Um, Since OD is 12, we have our side OD, which is 12 units. So, our OF also is going to be 12 units. And the same thing with OE. So, OE is also 12 units. So with this, we call the circuit from the circuit theorem that we have the rule of the tangent, and we have this from the circuit theorem with that this is going to be 90 degree. So using the same rule, this is going to be 90 degree. So we have being the tangent, this is should give us what angle 90 degree. With this, a square is being formed. Okay, so once we have a square to be formed, then we can say that OE, which is also 12, and OF, which is also 12, is the same thing as OF which is the same thing as OD, which is the same thing as 12 units. Okay, so if we have this and we have that our AB is 32 units and BE is 12 units, so very much we should know that our AE should be 22 units. So doing that, since we have that our AE our AE should be 32 minus 12. So we have that to be what? 20 units. So labeling that, we should have this to be 20 units and have this to be what? 12 units. 12 units. So that is the first batch of what we need to do. And also, we need to recall from the um, circuit theorem under the tangent theorem also that if you have two tangent segments if they are drawn to one circle from the same external point they are congruent so what do I mean what I mean is that take for instance you have a circle and you have this drawn this drawn so these two lines are what they are going to be the same. So for instance, you have this to be A to be B. So you have your A to be equals to B. So the same thing will be applied here. So that is our AE must be equals to AD. And provided our AE is 20, so definitely AD is going to be 20. So that is another value we have. So we have that AE equals to AD which is the same thing as 20 units then also using the same approach the congruent the tangent theorem that is FC and also DC must be the same so since that is unknown we can assume that to be what Y units and also Y units that is we have FC to be equals to DC, which is the same thing as what? Y unit, which is unknown. So with this, we can say that um, our BC, that is from B down to C, is going to be addition of Y plus 12. So we have Y plus 12 units. And also from A to D, since A is 20, then AD is going to be 20. 
so ad which is 20 so my ac is going to be y plus 20 and i believe with this a new triangle can be formed so forming a new triangle a right angle triangle with this we have a b and c so assigning value to this we can have this to be 20 plus y that is my a to c and my a to b which is known as 32 my b to c which is what 12 plus y so using the rule of pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem so using the pythagoras theorem we have that c squared equals a squared plus b squared that is 20 plus y squared equals 32 squared plus 12 plus y squared so expanding this i'm going to have y squared plus 40y plus 400 equal 32 squared which is going to give me 1024 plus y squared plus 24y plus 144 So, using the numerical approach or uh, the normal basic mathematics, y squared is going to cancel out y squared. Then I can have 40y minus 24y equal 1024 um, plus 144 is going to give me 1168 minus 400 so with this i'm gonna have 16y which is equals to 768 and finally y is going to be 48 so i've gotten the value for my y to be 48 so with this we have that bc which is y plus 12 which is 48 plus 12 is going to be 60 units and also ac which is y plus 20 which is 48 plus 20 which is also going to be 68 and don't forget from the um, formula for the area of a triangle we have our area of triangle to be equals to half multiplied by the base times the height so this is going to be half multiplied by the base which is 32 um sorry the base is going to be 60 multiplied by height which is 32 so finally my area is going to be 960 square units Thank you very much for watching my videos please if you have any suggestion kindly put it in the comment section and please don't forget that the diagram is not 100 percent accurate so any um, value being made is based on assumption okay 
Thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you.